Hey everybody, it's Allie. I'm on a fantabulous weight loss journey. Hopefully you'll come along for the ride. Today I'm going to be talking about what I eat in a day videos because um, I posted my first one yesterday and I thought that I had given enough information in the video um, to really have it be educational, but apparently there were some people that just didn't get the memo. And um, I'm sure that there are some people that are commenting on the video that are not my regular subscribers or who haven't seen my previous videos. So let me do a quick recap for them to, to get them up to speed. Um, by the way, if you're one of the people who commented something kind on my video or said that it was helpful or that you enjoyed it or that it was nice to see what somebody who's eating very simply is doing, I super appreciate you and thank you so much. Um, I'm still currently working through all of the comments, but um, just decided to take a break from them since some of them were kind of awful. So... I just picked one comment that was, you know, bleh, uh, at, at random to address it. And um, one of the things that I make very clear in all of my videos is that I do not um, ascribe to any kind of fad diet, right? Um, keto, low carb, carnivore... Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, Adkins, you know, I, I don't even, high carb, low fat. Like I, I could go on for days what the some of the top fad diets are. I don't do any of those and I don't support them. And the reason why is that fad diets are problematic. And while they may work for the short term, they are not long term sustainable. And it can be very problematic because it's not a one size fits all. And so pushing those fad diets, I feel, would be irresponsible as a content creator. Firstly, because I'm very transparent that that's not me. I, I don't think they're a good idea. And secondly, because they're not a one size fits all, as a content creator, you have to be very aware of the information that you put out there because it may not be one size fits all, which is why I make it very clear in my videos that while I count calories, I understand that some people may have a background in which that would not be healthy for them. And I recognize that and I have offered um, alternatives for those individuals. I think it's very important that we try to be as inclusive as possible, right? when giving advice and taking into account that not everybody is the same. So secondly, addressing this comment, um, on this specific day, I did not plan anything. I did not plan my meals. I did not plan what I was going to eat. I did it solely based off of how I was feeling. And so what you found was that I got a lot of protein early in the day and then ended the day very light because the first few days after my uh, Manjaro injection, I have super appetite suppression. And while I force myself to eat and prioritize protein and make sure I get fiber in, right? Because all of that is very important. Um, I, I don't go out of my way to eat calorie dense foods. Now this person wanted to know where's the burger? Well, um, I didn't feel like a burger yesterday. Therefore I didn't eat one. Now, that's not to say that I won't have one at some point this week, but I didn't feel like it. So then they wanted to say, oh, well, where's the eggs and bacon? First of all, I'm not a huge fan of eggs. 
If you like eggs, more power to you. They're a great source of protein. Um, I do on occasion incorporate egg whites into my meals so that um, I can, you know, take advantage of that protein level. But just eating like straight up eggs is not something that I get excited about. And if I'm only going to be consuming a certain amount of food in a day, right, because I'm on a weight loss journey, um, I'm not going to waste it on something that I don't want to eat. Um, same for bacon. I, while bacon is good and I like bacon, bacon is fine. Um, it is very high in fat. And when you are on a GLP-1 medication, high fat may or may not, um, do well in your system. For me personally, I cannot do high fat in a meal. If I do, I will become sick. And if you'd like to get more information on that, I made a whole video about it. Go to my three, my week three Manjaro shot where I got sick. So, um, so I don't do bacon and eggs, essentially. Um, I do eat chicken bacon, which I've talked about before, and um, I absolutely love it. I'll do like a BLT and have chicken bacon and like, it's fantastic. Um, but like straight up bacon, I, I just don't want to feel yucky. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, this person also commented that um, it looked like I was doing a keto diet. I am diabetic. Um, not that it's any of your business, but I, I am diabetic. And so I do need to be mindful of my carbs. Um, yesterday was a particularly low carb day because that's what I felt like. I just wanted chicken, which I have mentioned before. I eat a lot of chicken, um, for the protein and also because red meat doesn't agree with me on this medication. Um, I, I can do a, a little bit, but it cannot be high fat red meat. It, oh, I will just feel like garbage. Um, in addition to, if I do high carb, I will also feel like garbage. So in this sense, I eat what makes me feel good. I'm not saying that everyone should eat the way I eat. It was one day completely unplanned, 100% authentic. That's how I was feeling and that's how I ate. I didn't feel like eating a big breakfast. Um, to be perfectly honest, I never do. Uh, I'm a brunch person, but not a breakfast person. However, I have goals to meet. And so that's why I do either a protein shake or a modified protein shake, which is what I did in my video. For breakfast because you got to get that protein in right you can't just not eat all day so um while i understand the point this person was trying to make which is you know hey you can eat normal food on this medication yes but like i've said many times before not everybody is the same and if i was to eat eggs and bacon i would feel yucky if I was to eat eggs and bacon and then for lunch to have a big burger, I would feel yucky, right? So when you're on a GLP-1 medication, it's so important when you watch what I eat in a day videos, um, when you're looking at recipes, when you're trying to get inspiration on what to eat, it's so important that you listen to your body because if you don't, you may end up being one of those people that I talk about all the time that post in the support groups that say, oh, you know, uh, they brought donuts into the office and I ate three donuts and I feel so sick. Well, high sugar can do that to you. Or I went and had um, steak, asparagus, and mashed potatoes for dinner at a nice restaurant and now I feel so sick. Well, red meat doesn't agree with everybody, right? So I would encourage you, um, <clears throat> you know, if you're going to comment on somebody's what I eat in a day video 
to A, listen to everything that they said because I talked about the carbs in that video. So, um, and also to just take it with a grain of salt. You are seeing one day out of five months worth of eating that I have done to lose 54 pounds. One day. And like I said, in full transparency, which is what I do on my channel, I did not plan what I was eating. I did not make gorgeous laid out meals, right? I'm keeping it real with you. This is me. I really do just go into the kitchen and put together a lettuce wrap and log it in my app and eat it. That's what I do because I'm a real person. I'm not... I'm not some, you know, recipe creator influencer that's got, you know, gorgeous planned out meals that are in this, you know, contraption to make the photo beautiful. Like, I, that's not what I'm doing. I'm showing you what it's like to be a real person on this medication. So can you eat eggs and bacon if that sits well with you? Absolutely. There are many, many food options that you can eat as long as they fall into your calorie deficit. Have at it. If you want to have that burger, go for it. I will likely have a burger at some point in the next week or two. I usually have a craving at some point. But I also know that I can't do like a big, huge quarter pounder, right? Because then I'm going to feel yucky. So there has to be, there has to be balance. And speaking of balance, somebody commented um, wanting to know more about eating a balanced diet. And um, I am going to make some videos on that coming up soon. So if you were the one who commented that, please stay tuned because I am going to make those videos for you. Um, the, the short version is we're not depriving ourselves, right? We're eating things in moderation. We are aware of calorie density. We're learning about calories and how they affect us because I was never taught as a child how to eat correctly, right? And so I'm learning it now as an adult and it takes time. You're not gonna get it overnight. So if you have not watched my What I Eat in a Day video, it was the video right before this, please go watch the video, enjoy yourself, leave a positive comment, <laughs> it would be great. Um, if you liked that video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up because I need to know if you want more of those. Um, again, I eat very boring, very simply because that is what works for me. Um, but I don't stage them, like I stated before. That's just what I ate yesterday. That's, that's, it's as simple as that. So, um, and I also saw your comments that you guys want me to include the dogs more. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, I love my dogs. If you're interested in seeing more dog content, I do have another channel that I'm currently not posting on. It's Padfoot Palms Poodles and Pals. Um, I also have a Facebook group, Padfoot Palms Poodles and Pals. It's a nutrition-based face group, uh, Facebook group because I am a canine nutritionist. So if you're looking for help there as far as some healthy options for your pets, definitely go check that out on Facebook. Um, I hope that this video was entertaining for you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if there's a specific topic down in the comments that you would like for me to cover, and I will absolutely make a video for you. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing because I've got a lot of videos with tips and tricks. I've got videos like this where I'm just giving it to you real. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. And as always, be kind, rewind.